Hello and welcome to our what if scenario if Robert found out that Cersei and Jamie were having their little thing. <laughs> we're going to use the spy system that's new to Crusader Kings 3 Game of Thrones. We have our spy master. We got Varys looking for secrets right now as we speak. And we have a whole bunch of spies here. On, where are they at? Where are they at? Spies. We're about to get a whole bunch of spies here in a second. Round stag start date. Boom. Here are all of our spies that I recruited before I started. And boom. Just like that. So, okay. I found out that Jamie Lannister is incestuous. So, I'm going to expose that secret. And boom, I just found out that they were lovers as well. Thank you, Varys. He's just told me it's just happened. I'm going to expose this as a secret. So now I can imprison both of them, I believe. Yep. Love will keep them warm in the dungeons. So I'm also going to imprison Jamie or punish the criminal first. So Jamie and I are going to duel. Oh boy. Alright, let's do it. I gotta make sure I have my, uh... Oh, I don't have my Warhammer. Oof. Alright, let's do it. Let's attack first. Uh, strike and parry. Oh, we got him. We got Jamie. Robert versus Jamie wins. My mace arm moves fast as lightning, strikes as hard as sundered stone. Blow by blow, I beat my opponent into bloody concussed submission. Hammering him into the ground with all the fury the warrior can lend me. When all that's left is quivering pile of a bleeding man, I wonder if I've gone too far. Then Jimmy coughs hard enough to lose his grip on his mace, and I allow myself a sigh of relief. With the worry over, I kick my foe's weapon away and lay my own against his throat. It takes a few tries, but Jamie gets the yield out eventually. Ooh, it got him. I wounded him too. I'm victorious. I've imprisoned them. Both of them. Well. Of course. Robert would only do one thing, right? Public execution for Jamie. And then we'll get a... Uh, we'll get better knights. So, Tywin, what do you think about that? Husband's honor. Ward of Queen Cersei's adultery is spread across the Iron Throne and beyond. I get help but see a vile, filled contempt behind each servant and courier's smile. Jamie has made a mockery of me and my family. How could he, she do this to me? All Lannister will pay for this. House feud with House Lannister. Oh boy. But now, we have a house feud with Lannister. We can marry somebody else right now, but... There's only one person I think Brindley was right. We'll just have a betrothal with uh, Marjorie. As is what it's supposed to be. Okay. For some reason I can't choose a patron. It's whatever. And I think there's only one thing we really can do. And that's start a war with the Lannisters. Or have them start a war with us, at least. Richard Horp. I can get Richard Horp. He'd be a good Kingsguard. Nice. Richard Horp basically goes uh, against, against uh, his father to join us. Alright. First things first. You are going to pay more taxes. Second of all. I don't think you should own. What would be a good thing? Lannisport. I think we'll take Lannisport away from, uh, from Tywin. Just as a slight, you know, Robert's fury knows no bounds. He wants to hurt the Lannisters for, for this. Thinks Tywin knew about it. It's time to declare war on the Lannisters.
get our warriors ready. Raise our armies. It's gonna say no, and then war begins. Call the banners. Looks like mostly everybody's joining us. Nobody's going against us, which is good. Everybody joined us. Dorne is staying out of it. The Riverlands is staying out of it. I have a few traitors here. But I'm sure they'll be dealt with by our allies. Take him out. That disrupts schemes of various, whatever you say. We got is it Richard Horp is leading the fight. We got Stannis. We got me. And we got some guy. Well, Barris in the bold for sure. He's gotta lead us, right? going to be a big war for, for us. We're going to take out Lannisport now. First, let's split the army. Have this one be commanded by Barristan. You'll defend King's Landing. Take out the Lannisters again. It's hard to tell where stuff is. Okay, there it is. Linus Keep. I think Stannis should lead this army. Yeah, there he is. Okay, good. Like they already know. I'm leading this battle here. I'm sieging Linus Fort myself. Very easy to expose uh, secrets like that when you got Varys helping us out. Quickly, Varys uh, basically tells us what's up. Uh, we'll get our, our people back here in a second. I'm gonna siege Castle Rock myself. Uh, we can invade all these little tiny nations. These guys were clearly in the pocket of Tywin, so we're not going to give them too much of a hard time. But I will siege them. Let's increase some speed. I don't care if people escape, it's fine. Also, like, where's our army? We gotta have... Gotta go in full Robert mode, right? Nice. So instead of the Greyjoy Rebellion, it's the Lannister Rebellion. Tywin is rebelling because I executed both of his kids. Sick that I want to duel against Jamie though. Awesome. Um saw this, I'm going to have a drink. Yep, that's Robert. Where are 
where the, that battle went. So we're winning this battle. They pretty much got nothing left, huh? Got to start sieging the Lannisters now. Once uh, this siege is done. Yep, there we go. Start sieging uh, Armin's friendship. Not sure. Start sieging Castle Rock areas. Fight them. There we go. Eddard versus Tywin. That'll do. Just taking all out all the Lannister stuff now. That's pretty good. I'm in so much debt though. Wow. That makes sense. You get over with Tywin, you lose lose all your debt. Raised armies minus 80, that's crazy. Losing so much money. I, I think that kind of fits the lore, you know, fits the RP. Uh, we at go to with uh, the Lannisters, they call in their debts and we're completely bankrupt. But also the Iron Throne was bankrupt for the longest time. Especially with, with uh, Robert. So, the question is, how are we going to, like, Ed, Ned Stark has him in prison, how are we going to deal with Tywin? He's our nemesis now at this point. Uh, we'll do this, stalwart leader. Alright, there we go. Well, hold on, I kind of want to siege Castle Rock before this war is over. Kind of want to break the walls down. I feel like Robert would want to do that, even though Tywin's trying to deliver a uh, message. Enemy war leader is captured. So Rinley kept. Wait, Rinley captured him. What? Uh, and then I'm gonna go to a brothel again. So while sieging, I go find a brothel. That's funny. Uh, we should be close to winning. Four years, max, maybe? Wow. No way this is going to take four years to siege, right? No way. Oh, okay, victory. Fine. Alright. It's funny, I didn't really call for victory, but that's fine. Alright. So what should we, blah, what should we do? Let's take the main titles, secondary titles, and half the demands. Uh, I will select Tyrion as my hostage. And I will hey, execute his old house. Oh my gosh. How pissed would Robert be, though, for this? I feel like he would. But, do I execute Tywin, though? Tyrion's killed by me, all these people are killed by me. Oh, okay, okay. So I can execute the traitor and his house. Okay. Okay. Feel like that works. And his family. My will be done. Oof. And these guys. Uh, I'll just send him to the wall. I won't take any titles away from him. Same with this guy. It's under the wall. Under the wall. And then the wall. 
side of the wall. And boom. Jeez, look at that. Oh. Everyone's just executed. Let traitors go unpunished for five years. People will hate me. Uh, okay. Rally the troops for that. So, I own all of this now. Kevin still alive. Tywin was executed. Tyrion was executed. We have a few Lannisters still alive. There's only one man that could keep the Lannisters in line. And that's Stannis. It's 100% Stannis. You know what? Let's right or wrong. Alright, let's keep him as that guy. And the king. And Stannis is a master ship, so okay. And then I'll make... What is it? Da -da 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 -da. Mace Terrell's not in our thing yet, is he? Okay, uh, disband our armies real quick. Just these two guys. Very chill. We're trying to rebuild our army here. Ah! Let me load. How oh, dare they? Be sneaky like that. How are you? The fact that you have to, like, muster armies. So funny. Alright, fine. Ray's been there. And that's how you do it. That's how you take care of the Westerlands. He's marrying into a, a house. Oh my gosh. All the Lannisters were killed, man. How many how many Lannisters did I get rid of? Oh my goodness. 40? Yeah, okay, he was killed in battle. Three, four, Alan Tarly, okay. Went in Tyrell. All the Derry, Damon Derry, Rhaegar. Dang, so I killed at least like 30. 30 uh, Lannisters. Oh my goodness. Well, whatever happened? Uh, how many are left? 38 living members, huh? Yeah, that'll do it. I have to destroy these traitors. Not you. I don't know, like 200 men just randomly runs up to him. That's so funny. Just like that, we deal with a few other vassals. See that they're a little bit disloyal to us. But, you know, it is what it is. Keep finding some people to go into a whorehouse, and, you know, it is what it is. Then we marry Marjorie. Nobody really likes us. Because, like, holy hell. You just killed, you're a tyrant, you just killed the entire Lannister line. Yeah, tyrant over domain limit. Three years in debt. Yep. yep. That's what happens. I can, uh, you know what? Just a loan. <laughs> of course, people are gonna ransom. Uh, 
um, a thousand gold will do fine. Thank you. There, just pile up debt. Now I can go back to some cool headwear. I like the Storm King's crown. Yeah, Rob's crown is cool, but Storm uh, King's crown is where it's at. Hell yeah. And just like that, the realm was at peace. We have Lord Paramount Stannis of the Westerlands, who just had twins. She hates me because I, I mean, she doesn't hate me that much, apparently. Even though I killed all of her kids. A lot of Lannisters dead. And the rest are in hiding. Or minor lords that don't concern anybody. That's just the way it goes, guys. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that one. That is what if Robert found out about Cersei and Jamie. He would duel Jamie. To the death, give Stannis to Westerlands, and big chillin', execute the entire Lannister family. <laughs> well, guys, I'll see you guys in the next one. That was a lot of fun. <laughs>